For this installation you will need a 5 gallon pail of Rydon CHS formula and an HP 300 pump. Included with the pump is a dosage table and installation guide, two valve core removers, and two pump chuck attachments. Slip the pump into the pail through the opening at the top. Remove the valve cap on the side of the pail and attach the pump chuck to the valve stem. Adjust the hose at the top of the handle so that it is perpendicular to the handle. To break the vacuum, unscrew the black fitting at the base of the handle to loosen the pump and draw the handle upwards, then retighten the black fitting. Turn the ball valve attached to the base of the pump chuck 90 degrees to open. Push down on the handle to recirculate the product and bleed the hose. And now you are ready to install. Locate the valve stem to make sure it is in the proper position for installation. If the valve stem is located between 10 and 2 o'clock, the area highlighted in red, adjust the tire accordingly to reposition the valve stem in a proper location for installation. Make a note of the three numbers on the side of the tire that denote the tire's size. To find the correct dose, open the dosage calculator and installation guide or reference Rydon's website. Use the last number in the tire sequence, in this case 22.5, to locate all the 22.5 inch tires. Use the remaining two numbers to find the exact tire match in the corresponding dosage. As you raise the pump, there are numbers etched into the pump shaft. These numbers indicate how many ounces of product are injected into the tire when the pump is compressed to that corresponding point. A complete pump stroke injects 10 ounces. Just below the pump handle, a silver locking collar can be loosened and attached to any ounce measurements needed. Once a dosage has been calculated, simply detach the pump chuck from the pail, attach it to the valve stem, open the ball valve, and pump the required dosage into the tire. Several pump strokes may be required to achieve the proper dosage. Once the proper dosage has been installed, remove the pump chuck and attach it back to the pail's valve stem. Using an air supply, clean out any remaining product that might be caught in the valve stem. Then reinsert the valve core and air the tire back to the desired inflation pressure. Place an orange O-ring around the valve stem to denote that it is a ride-on treated tire and reattach the valve cap. The tire is now ready for service.